everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, um, I'm sure you can tell by the beginning of the video here, I'm doing a tribute to Naomi Judd this past weekend. As most of you know that follow me on Facebook and Instagram, different places, I was up in Tennessee looking at our property and we got notification on our phones like crazy, all the news channels that I follow and different streams on Facebook and such saying that Naomi had passed away. Naomi, I, the Judds were like one of my favorite duos growing up. Um, two of my favorite songs were Love Can Build a Bridge and Pop or Grandpa Tell Me About the Good Old Days. And if you just looked at Facebook alone, all the country singers from Jeannie Seeley, Barbara Mandrell's page, I believe, um, Carrie Underwood, everybody was reaching out because she was more than just a mom to... Ashley and Winona, she was like a mom to a lot of the singers there, and everybody really respected her. And I am going <clears> to <throat> put on across here the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Um, you, you just never know what people are going through. I mean, two and a half weeks ago, she was on the awards show, and she was just happy as could be, wearing bright colored dress and her hair all done up, and she just she just looked like she had the world by the tail and getting ready to start there new tour and then this past Sunday she was going to be inducted her and Winona um, as the Judds into the Country Music Hall of Fame and unfortunately she, um, she passed away the day before so a lot of people in the last couple of days have been posting the real reason this and the real reason that and how do you feel now it doesn't matter how you feel two two people lost their mom and you just never know I mean, look at Robin Williams. He committed suicide. He looked like the happiest person in the world, laughing all the time. And you just never know what somebody's going through. So I want to keep this up here. Um, the number's 1-800-273-8255. If you or somebody know, it's a number you can reach out to. There's always somebody to talk to. So I'm going to do Naomi's um, Chicken Continental. It's actually a very, very easy dish to do. It's out of her cookbook. And I think she did it on Oprah, on um, own, Oprah's channel, Own Network. So what we've got is a quarter of a cup of butter and four tablespoons melted in here. I'm just going to put a little vegetable oil in there. That just helps keep the butter from scorching and burning, not for flavor or anything. And I turned that down just for a second so I could talk to you here at the beginning. So we're just going to heat this up, and her recipe calls for six small chicken breasts. Well, I'm going to use three because besides pan, and I don't want lots of leftovers. I'll put her exact recipe down below, but you can follow along how I'm doing it. That's the only thing that I'm really changing, and I've got those three chicken breasts. We're not going to cook them all the way through. We're just going to brown them a little bit, so I'm just going to lay them here. I did season them with salt and pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. And we're just going to brown those on each side. Throw these little pieces of chicken in there. And put this over here. And to this, you're supposed to use 16 ounces. You can her, she's either said brown rice, white rice, yellow rice. So basically two cups of uncooked rice, which I cooked, and I did take it off a little soon, so it's got a little bit of a bite to it, because this is going to finish cooking in the oven. We're going to finish baking it at 350 degrees until the chicken comes to 165 degrees internal temperature. So I don't want to cook these all real well. I just want to saute them and get some brown color on them. Also... Um, she puts three tablespoons of dried celery and two teaspoons of dried thyme. I did add about half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I like garlic powder. So that's the only addition that I have done to this. And then three cans of cream of chicken soup. Now, if you want, you could probably use cream of mushroom, cream of bacon, cream of whatever you want. But I want to do it according to her recipe today. Let me see if these are browning. Ooh, slippery with all that butter. Actually, I'm going to get them a little bit browner. 
We're right back. Okay, so let's just turn these over. A little brown on them. There we go. Let's go brown this side. Let me get a plate to put these on. Okay, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Put the chicken out. I think I got some butter on my burner underneath. Not good. All right. And then her recipe says just to add, and I've reduced the heat down to about medium, add the chicken, cream of chicken soup in here. We're just going to heat this until it's simmering, a low boil. And now I'm going to add in our seasonings. Now we just want to get this warmed and just a light simmer. Get all this mixed in. nice and warm. So now I'm just going to add the rice in. Remember it's cooked, but I didn't cook it all the way through because it's going to cook some more in here. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if I got a big enough pan. You know me, I'm always messing up and getting too small of a pan. This looks like it might do it. I think I'm going to need my wooden spoon. You're just going to mix the soup mixture in with the rice. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because it's going into the oven next. Now, you know what? Those cans of soup looked small when I bought them. In fact, let me look here. 10 ounce cans. Yeah, and the normal one's about 11 and a half. So I've got about three ounces less soup in here than probably would have been made when she made this. So I'm going to put a little water in here. Just a little bit. Just to bring it together. Everything is shrinking. The prices are going up. And if they don't raise the prices, they make the amount less. I've seen almost everything at the store. The packages are just shrinking down and shrinking down. It's getting crazy for us to even survive. All right. So I got this mixed in pretty good. I'm going to taste it, make sure it's seasoned well for salt and pepper. I think you can use a little bit more salt. Some pepper. Okay, like I said, I've already preheated the oven at 350 degrees. So now I'm just going to nestle this chicken back down in here. And in her book, it says to get as down in it as you can. I 
Here we go. We're going to cook this till the chicken's at 165 degrees. Then I'll uncover it and cook it at an additional 10 minutes just to kind of brown off the top. And then we'll be back. Okay, everybody, so the chicken has, it cooked for about 35, 40 minutes until it got up to 165. I did check it with the instant read thermometer, and then I uncovered it and let it cook another 10 minutes. Uncovered, that kind of browned up the top and crisped up the rice a little bit. So let me see if I can get a piece out here. First, we'll grab some rice. It smells delicious. And let me get this piece right here. All the juices from the chicken are down into the rice. Let me get a fork and spoon. I did let it sit for about five minutes. Let me check, check the rice. That is delicious. Taste the chicken soup in there. Well, like I said, I let it sit for five minutes or a little bit more just so the juices wouldn't come out as soon as I sliced it. Still hot. It's delicious. Nice and moist. Nice flavor. And as you can see, well, we have like five or six ingredients. And it's real simple to make. So again, this is Naomi's Chicken Continental. I'm going to again put the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline uh, right here. It's 1-800-273-8255. If you guys know somebody that's going through some problems or just hasn't been themselves lately, just ask them how they're doing. You don't have to be real nosy. Just say, hey, I'm here if you need something. Give me a call. I'm always here for you. You might be able to help somebody out. So, again, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. And I wish all of the Judd family our dear sincere thoughts and prayers. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.